And so our story begins. Right, continue. Now I did the tiniest little bit of grinding wood chopping off camera, so I'm slightly richer than I was when I last played this. I played, um, I don't know, like 10 minutes or something like that. Oh yes, we're a hot goth woman, I forgot. <laughs> okay, hot goth woman. Um, oh yes, because I, I logged in and did some uh, some wood cutting just to grind up some money. I knew the job would hook you, yes. And I kept losing my streak because people kept jump scaring me by fucking walking in front of the camera to sexually harass me. They would just be, I'd be like fucking coolly swinging my axe and breaking up wood. And then some farmer would wander in and go, I love nice tits. I'd be like, Jesus Christ, it's like streaming as a woman, I guess. <laughs> Is this the, the equivalent of Twitch in the medieval era? Is this all you had? <laughs> but yeah, I did some more woodcutting jobs. I think I'm on level four? Yeah, I'm on star four. Like that Red Riding Hood. Oh, Jesus. Like that Red Riding Hood game. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot that I could do that. Oh, I love nice tits. <laughs> I've, ne I've never actually heard anybody yell that at anybody, but I'm sure it happens all the time. Show us your tits. I think that's a thing, right? <laughs> that, you know, you pass by a construction site or something. I don't actually know. <laughs> I have never been wolf whistled at and I've never wolf whistled anybody. I would be mortified either way. I think if somebody wolf whistled me, I would instantly shrink into myself and die. And I, if I... Uh, Wolf whistled somebody, I would do the same. <laughs> I think it would be fucking horrible. <laughs> uh, who are you? I can apparently give you a gift. Do you want to talk to me or anything? Don't you have any doggy friends? Oh, sad. Fuck you! Are you, you judging how I raise my there. dog? Who are no you? Worries, are you like a cool knight? Are you a guard? You're huge. It's like being a person with tits and going for a walk anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if, I don't know. I wonder if Ireland is better for that than other places. Probably not. I assume it's all the same everywhere, right? Just really awful. Um, some lads in Manchester saw me and my incredibly hot girlfriend and said his cock must be massive. I'm not sure what that count says. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I am a person in a uh, a mixed attractiveness relationship, I'm going to call it, where I am with somebody who I am punching well above my weight. And so I assume everybody's just kind of thinking stuff like that, but I've never heard it said at me. <laughs> Actually, a lot of the time, uh, before I would consider maybe, uh, before I had considered any like change of pronouns or maybe that I might be agender or NB or anything like that. A lot of people, mainly older people, would refer to Emma and I as the girls. Like if I was walking and I like accidentally bumped into somebody, they'd go like, oh, sorry, girls, and walk on and stuff. That's that's the one thing, I guess. <laughs> An Irish guy in Perth asked me if I wanted to have sex with him when I was in the line for KFC. Oh, God, kill us all. Um, oh, Jesus. I think their intention was to say I didn't measure up otherwise, but it just seemed like a weird compliment. Yeah, like, isn't that what, like, if you're a toxic freak who's shouting at people on the street, don't you value that sort of thing? Isn't it like, oh, man, their cock must be massive. Oh, that makes me feel bad. Like, it's a weird thing to yell at somebody as an insult. Anyway. <laughs> it is very late. Okay, how do I skip time or sleep? Because I, I didn't find anywhere. Um, I didn't find anywhere to sleep. Last time I was in this game, like in this town. Like this place didn't have any beds or anything, so I might just have to wait or go do another quest. Drunk guy. You wanna have sex with me? What? You wanna have sex with me? No. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, Emma's has told me some stories. I am very, I'm, you know. I'm very privileged, basically, in that I present as male the majority of the time, and uh, I'm very sort of easily identified as male, and so I've never really had to deal with any of that. Thing is, that was the last time I really committed to looking male, and I looked the best in, the, in that gender that I ever had. <laughs> um, poor brand relations with the Irish wouldn't happen with a Welsh person. <laughs> yeah, but there's only like seven Welsh people. It's really just the people in this chat. Like, there's so little Welsh people. 
Irish people get everywhere. We're an infestation. We're like roaches. We get fucking everywhere. So there's more of us to <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> there's more of us to be annoying. <laughs> right, is there any beds here or anywhere I can take a quest? You wench, tell me something. Nope, never mind. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> what will you have? I can check my map. Stop that! What is wrong with you? Right, I can check my map and see these little glowing orbs, the green ones, are apparently quests. So I can go up and do some quests with somebody. Some of them are jobs, though, as well. The duality. <laughs> At this point, I'm used to it. <laughs> Shut up, you all love me. Look at me. Oh, also, I think I bought a fresh X when I was off camera. <laughs> That's about it, though. I don't think I did anything, really. I love <laughs> what is wrong with you? What? You're the one that clicked it. Accidentally. If I, like, you know, smack somebody with a piece of wood or something outside and then go, Oops, sorry, they can't be mad at me. Right? <laughs> That's how it works. Right, which way am I going? There's a quest up here, apparently. Man, that effect is rough. Shut up, you all love me. <laughs> Oh, what did I just do? Oh, that's the first person one. Sorry, I thought that was like center camera. Is this center camera? It is. I'm not used to using controllers. I barely know how to function with them. Open the door. Go away and let me count my sheep in peace. Open the door. Thank you. Hi. Do you need Go a quest? Away, you? Do you have a quest for me? It's in this house somewhere. Where's the quest option? <laughs> Give me one. Give me a quest. You, oh, child? Would you mind leaving, please? I would when you give me a quest. Quest! Looking smart. Thank you. Uh, there's a key. I'll take that. Can you give me a quest, please? Give me something to do. I need to be famous. Hello. Wouldn't it be better if you left? Is that my quest? Will you pay me and spread my renown around if I do? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Fine. Was it maybe back here? Oh, it was the sculptor! Fuck me! It's like a wishy influencer. Are you done? Uh, you wish to model for me again? Uh, I've already done that. So no. It said like next week. What treasure? Show me treasure then. What? Fucking get a, get a move on if you're gonna show me something. What? Where? What are you talking about? There's no treasure here. What, this thing? The fucking horrible gargoyle? What treasure? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Just be a bit more clear. Run straight to it. I'm right behind you. Wedding bells. Ooh. A book of tips to make anyone fall in love with you until they're ready to say I do. We've already got one. Um... So you're better able to perform their favorite romantic expressions. Surprise them with their favorite gifts. So this will teach me to twerk? Coming on too strong can make them become bored with your advances. Ooh. Oh, like 15 days in and I'm just still twerking. And they're like, it's not the same. Just, you know, learn some new things. Right, take. <laughs> Freshly picked flowers. At a civil ring. Ooh, we can get a new wife around here. Good stuff. The struggle is real. <laughs> Are they back asleep again? Okay, where's the next place we can go? Uh, way over there. But is that the Abbey? I need to find another fucking quest. Because I'm not famous enough, right, to do the, the, the Abbey quest? If I go up to the Abbey, aren't they going to be just like, what the fuck are you doing here? You're not famous. Wife up. Oh, I could marry somebody in the village. That was an option, wasn't it? I think they were like, you could always just marry somebody and that would raise your renown because, you know, <laughs> statues make you more famous. Well, the statue is coming along, but it's not done yet, right? We commissioned a statue. She was, I mean, almost uncomfortably into us. She was like, I mean, they needed a mop on the floor for, for doing that. Oh, we didn't actually marry Gail, did we? We, we're engaged to Gale, but we're not married because we didn't have a, a house. Oh, no. There's a few locations you can find. Okay. Is this a statue that's ours? Oh, this is us. Okay, we can just do another statue. Okay. I didn't even notice that that statue had already done. Let's go make another statue. Gonna need more mops. 
Didn't the shed thing count? We have a caravan. But is that enough? Like, is, is Gale going to be happy with a caravan? Maybe. Gale's probably happy with anything. Gale's probably just happy somebody's paying attention to her. <laughs> Commission another statue. Uh, cost 50 gold. Oh, I can't do another one. Oh, you can become right. a monument for the whole world to admire. All right, fine. So she'll just make more and more of us. Fine. So where else can I go? I guess let's go to the Abbey and see. Abbey is down and so forward and then curve around to the left, roughly. There we go. I can just rim the crater. I don't remember what that was referring to. Maybe Prey? No, there was no craters in Prey, was there? That was all on a spaceship, not a planet. Rimming a crater. I honestly don't know. It could refer to anything. <laughs> At least it's dawn now. Things might actually be fucking open. Come on. Oh, the dog seems happy. Although I had... <laughs> I had an anxiety dream last night. I have been sleeping really badly. So, you know, sorry if that gets boring to say. But I had an anxiety dream last night. I went the wrong way. I had an anxiety dream last night about owning dogs. Like, that's that's how little I like dogs, apparently. I had a full-on, like, anxiety dream where Emma and I adopt adopted three dogs, and it drove me functionally insane, and I had, like, a panic attack and <laughs> made everybody leave. <laughs> I was like, I, at one point, my pa in the dream, my parents were over, and Emma was around, and the three dogs were around, and I eventually went, fuck this, everybody out, and made everybody leave my house. Even Emma. <laughs> I made everybody leave, and then just stood in the garden in the rain, and looked up at the sky, and I think took off my shirt. <laughs> and then I woke up, and I was like, fuck me, I, I really don't like dogs, do I? <laughs> A couple of times, a couple of times recently, I've had nightmares like that where I've just gone like, okay, this stops now, and then I wake up, <laughs> which is very nice, because I know not everybody has that luxury. I love that you had that kind of agency. <laughs> oh, a bun. Is this where I need to go? Is this like a new, yes, it is. I need to go up this way. Find something along here. I dreamed I flew home and had to walk to my flat topless because I lost my shirt, so that was awkward. No. <laughs> I think everybody could be, it should be fine for everybody to be topless all the time, right? Oh, Rosalia, why didst thou leave me? Oh, no. I was being forgiven by someone famous who kissed me, but it was stressful. to shatter it with the sledgehammer of your absence. Oh, hello. Hi. I wager you have never known a love truer and purer than mine. Have you seen Gale? She's very squishy. Even for just a few seconds, would inflate my soul with delight. A delicate kiss between pledged lovers is all that I ask. Such a sight would surely unlock my pain. Gail's a f kind of far away. I kind of just left her. <laughs> yes, there's also the involuntary outing thing. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, the pervert door. Like, what, you want me to, like, seduce somebody around here and kiss them for you? I mean, I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. I've met worse doors, but... Like, that one in the previous game wanted to know how much I fucked people. So, it's no less weird than that. Percolated Java Potion again. Lovely. I get a lot of misgendering dreams. Oh, no. I guess anything that causes you anxiety in life, you're gonna dream about it, right? Like... Any, um, that door is a good door. CBT streams. Now, that could be so many things. CBT, in my head, it is literally a coin toss, whether I read that as cognitive behavioral therapy or cock and ball torture. I can't, there is no other, it's 50-50 in my brain. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What was I even saying? Oh yeah, if you have an anxiety about something in your real life, it'll probably just come through in your dreams. Like, like I'm apparently very anxious about uh, having responsibility over other animals. <laughs> the art of marketing. <laughs> 
Um, I can be topless in front of my friends, and that means a lot to me. The only time I can go swimming, my friend has a lake near his place. That's very wholesome. I haven't been swimming in ages. I also, it's not for, well, I don't think it's for any dysphoria reasons. I don't know, maybe there's something to think about, Welcome but I don't think it is. Goblin, oh, thank you, CBT, <laughs> for this follow. That's very kind. I don't think it's for any dysphoria reasons, but um, I, I hate being topless in public. I fucking despise it. Oh, I hate it. I also hate wearing shorts. I hate... I hate not being fully clothed in public. It makes me really, really uncomfortable. Um, but, so I don't go swimming very much either. I kind of have to like power through it if I ever go swimming. The gravestone is too weather-worn to be read. You can take a rubbing, can't you? You can get like some charcoal and some paper, like press it against and rub it. And then that usually reveals it a little bit. So they do restorations on them, isn't it? The engraving is too worn to read. Can I dig them up? Can I shovel? Can I use a shovel? Hmm. There's trans-friendly swim groups. That's very good. Because, uh, weirdly, there is a, a weird link between uh, swimming and turfs. I don't know why. I don't know why that's a thing. But I remember there was a big uh, trend of, like, wild swimming a couple of years ago. And it was all turfs. And it was like, let's go swim in the sea. I don't know why they needed a fancy name for swimming in the sea. I would have thought that was the default. But uh, they called it wild, wild swimming and they were all turf writers for like the Guardian. <laughs> uh, me booking into a pool, into a hotel. There's a pool on the roof. That's literally of zero value to me. <laughs> I never really went swimming much, but you know, I could. Anywhere they can make people feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it's like, let's gentrify and make everything weird. <laughs> swimming in the sea. And then anybody who went, this is kind of stupid. Why not just call it swimming? Got like cyber bullied. <laughs> I need to because all my muscles are dying. I love swimming. I, I find swimming really entertaining and fun. Like I will just swim for hours. And in, in Ireland, that's not good. You shouldn't swim in the Irish Sea for hours because you will die. But I do anyway, like to the point where I get out and I've turned bright red. But it's so pleasant. I love swimming. I just never do it. Because again, I don't like being nude. Not that you're nude on an Irish beach. I don't know if we have any nude as beaches, but I don't like wearing, you know, swimming trunks or whatever. Ugh. Search? You need 10 silver keys. Amazing. Um, I used to rely on my exercise being the something where everyone shares the same illnesses. Swimming is very, very good as exercise, right? Because it doesn't put as much uh, pressure on your joints, I know. Like... The hydrotherapy is a thing as well, right? Where, like, it, it doesn't put very much pressure on your joints, so you can just do the sort of muscle training and cardio that comes along with swimming. It's very good for you. Uh, summer's over now, and I went swimming once. Uh, summer has not happened here yet, and I will prop... I'll try and go swimming. I didn't go swimming the entire last summer. I just... Ne I never went. Now, it didn't get that... No, it did get warm. I just never went. I like swimming, but not in the sea so much. Well... I will say, in Britain, I wouldn't swim in your seas right now. <laughs> but in Ireland, I like swimming in the sea. I don't like pools. I find pools really creepy and gross. Like, um, unless it was empty, I'd be fine. But I just can't get over that I am just basically in a big stew pot with people. Like, in the sea, it's more dis dispersed. We share the same seas. Yeah, but the beaches in Britain are coated in a layer of sewage right now. <laughs> Ireland was not great for that either up until fairly recently, but the EU sorted us out. Uh, where am I meant to be? Hang on, I'm just wandering around. I'm so sorry, but I need to go up that hill, I think. So let's go up to the abbot and see what we can do. Swim. See, swimming. I'm an okay swimmer. I see Mikey saying I can just doggy paddle as pathetic. Um, the EU sorted us out. Well, I mean, for good reason. The EU came and like took a sample of our uh, water near where I live and went, ah, oh, yeah, you need, like, a chemical bath if you're going to swim in this. What the fuck have you been doing? And then essentially forced my town to do, like, a water treatment plant. So, good, we now have our blue flag back. Turns out there was a reason everybody was sick. <laughs> Hello, do you want to talk? Talk to me. No. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> uh, incredibly cold and full of sewage. <laughs> I feel like the ocean up there would be super cold. Yes. Um, the hi the highest temperature the water gets here is about 18 degrees. 18 degrees Celsius, roughly. 
maybe 19 on like a it's really hot like summer. Yourself. So, you know, it's not warm, <laughs> but it's it's swimmable. Right, Ebish. Have I am I renowned enough for I you now? Need to... I'm sorry. The task I have is for a seasoned adventurer. Fuck off, prick. I still need to find someone with a reputation. He's a priest. He's probably a prick. Um. Fucking hell, I don't know then. A seasoned adventurer. Do I, uh, where's another quest I can do? Is it just jobs? I might need to leave the area. Like, I think that's... That's the... Up there? Do I have my mouse? Can I show my mouse? I can. Here is the... What's it called? The sculpture place. Here I can't do yet. One of these is just the wood chopping, I'm pretty sure. And what's the other one? I guess there's one more. Oh, wait, was there something to kill a bandit? Maybe in the bar. Let's do that. I don't think I did that yet. Okay, we have a plan. <laughs> drinking and swimming scares me. I would never drink and swim just because I don't drink and do anything. I don't, I don't drink. <laughs> Uh, I swam in a small lake while drunk against advice and it was fine, but fuck me, it was hard. Don't do it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> I would love, and you know, it's an OREM reference, but I would love to go night swimming. I've never been night swimming or swimming in the rain. I would love to go swimming at night in the rain. I think that would be incredibly relaxing. Because at a certain point, when I'm swimming, I do just kind of float around and nearly fall asleep every time. Uh I have woken up slightly further from shore than you'd want. <laughs> but you know, I enjoy it, it's fun. Right, over to the inn, which is over this way, I think. Waves here are not gonna go easy in here. I suppose it's different in the lake, but there was some woman in Perth recently who died just jet skiing in a lake because of bull sharks. See, I would be a little bit frightened of going swimming in Australia because of all the sharks, right? Deserves a quiet night, yep. <laughs> right, up here there was a quest, I think. Was it this guy up here? There was somebody. Where's Mr. Quest? Come on, Mr. Quest. Give me a fucking quest, no, one of you. Where is he now? Wait, he's gone? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Wait. I thought he was up here. Did I already accept it, maybe? Hang on, go into here. Quest maps, quests five. Uh, gain entry to this, till death do us part. Ooh, till death do us part. Speak to the ghost of a jilted lover. That could be fucking fun. The archaeologist. Locating archaeologist, the sculptor. Let's try that. Set trail and travel? Yes. Would you like to travel to Bowerston Road? This is the closest spot. It'll take 13 hours. Fuck, I suppose so. <laughs> Apparently, that's what I'm doing. Ugh. I stay in the shallows because I'm not a good swimmer. I, th I thought... And this could be wrong, but I thought that ba you, you basically had to be a good swimmer if you were Australian, because everybody surfs. It's like how in Ireland, like, we went swimming as part of PE, so it's weird not to be able to swim. A Emma can't swim very well, at least. I taught her a little bit a couple of summers ago. She was like, maybe I should finally learn. And so I taught her, like, how to float and paddle and stuff like that. Um, but... Um, I was shocked. I was like, there are people who don't know how to swim in Ireland? We're an island and we're very small. <laughs> okay, welcome back to particle hell, by the way. This is what it's going to be like for the next couple of seconds. <laughs> Everyone dead? We all good? Lovely. <laughs> uh, I think Mikey Stipes is the best bald out there. Hmm. He might be the most liked bald guy. Not Pitbull. <laughs> Who's a more liked bald man than than Mikey Stipes? I hate calling him Mikey Stipes. I'm sorry. <laughs> we did surfing lessons first year of high school, but not everyone does it. I get yeah. Emma mustn't have done. No, I think Emma might have skipped them or something because I think everybody mandator mandatorily does like six weeks of swimming a year all through school. Fuck me! Oh, I forgot about these fuckers. Right, fuck off. And then, uh, honestly, get these fuckers. Get, get the, get the crossbows going. There we go. <laughs> I bought a slightly better crossbow, I think on camera last time. There we go. Just keep, just keep shooting. Oh my fucking God. They're far enough away that their accuracy is gonna be pretty shit, right? 
There's also people who live inland. I guess that's true. I don't. You don't really consider that when you're outside of Australia, thinking of Australia. Because, like, everybody lives on the coast, right? But some people don't. It's like Ireland, too. I mean, there's not that many people in the centre of the country. When you're on an island, you tend to live near the coast. Melbourne is quite far from the coast, unless you live in the outer burbs. Who's firing at me? Did somebody fire at me just then? Fucking Jesus! I was aiming right between the eyes. Who sh Where? Who the fuck was that? Uh, fuck off. There you are. I'm pressing the wrong buttons! Fucking hell! I cannot use a controller. There we go. Thank you. Suck him up. Slurp him up. I just float very well being from the center of England. <laughs> I guess I've just always lived on the coast. And I don't like the coast, but I just sort of assume that's what everybody's, you know, knowledge of, of the sea. I really don't like living on the coast. I still live on the coast. I've never lived anywhere that wasn't... I'm going to say five or six minutes from a beach. And I don't like the beach. I like swimming in the sea, but I hate the beach. That's another reason I didn't go last year. Fuck, I hate the beach. It's so annoying. It's so sandy and fucking crowds and... Oh, I hate it. Right, what do you want? Crying woman. Avenge the ghost. Yeah, right. <laughs> are, you, are you looking at me? You can see me. Yep. Coarse and rough and it gets yes. everywhere. I mean, it does. It won't be easy. It's one of the few cogent lines in that fucking in nightmare script. <laughs> and completely. Then, when he's ready to accept your proposal, when he can't imagine Ooh. his life without you, give him this. Slutting for good. Okay. Dear Alex, it's time for you to know the truth. I don't love you. I've never loved you. This was all a game for me. You're empty and deceitful, and I hope you never find the slightest glimmer of happiness in this life. What did he fucking do? Oh, is this your murderer? Okay, fair, fair enough. Probably deserved. Mm. <laughs> Bad in context, though. I mean, most of the dialogue in... I'm going to go out on a limb and say something controversial. I think the Star Wars dialogue in any movie or show is bad. I don't think there's ever been a genuinely good piece of dialogue in a Star Wars movie, except for I love you, I know, because that's just funny. But I mean, the dialogue in all those movies sucks. <laughs> Take. Spent a long time thinking the prequels are noticeably worse, though. And even longer getting it onto paper. I am incorporating them after all. Which makes it all the more important. You could just move on with me if you like. Ooh, wedding bells. Didn't we already get that? Yes. Take. In case you need the help. I know I did. Oh, is this like a uh, fucking like what are they called? The people who pick up people? Pick up artists, that's it. Those freaks. Um they basically had to make their own dialogue up in the first one between the three stars. I did hear that. Uh, maybe it's just where I was staying last time that wasn't. I guess most of the capital cities are apart from Canberra. I don't know anything about Canberra. Canberra, I literally just know, is the capital. I could not tell you what's there. Could not tell you a landmark. Couldn't tell you how many people live there or how big it is. I know literally nothing about it. This is an expression manual. Learn the sophisticated secrets of Albion's greatest lovers. Ooh, seduce. Okay, I'll seduce somebody. Go to Bowerston Market and seduce Alex. Don't mind if I do. Let's seduce Alex. Now, Bowerston Market, that's where Gail is. Is Gail going to be really pissy? I can just tell her, right? Like, don't worry. I don't really want Alex. Yours are the only thighs for me. But I need to break his heart. And then maybe she'll be all right with it. You know, peasants, they've had hard lives. <laughs> They'll be okay with this sort of thing. I mean, I don't really know geography in general, though, speaking about capital cities. Like, I I knew people in school who could name all the capital cities of the world, basically. I could probably name, like, ten. <laughs> I'm very bad at geography, especially political geography. Like, you know, borders of countries and stuff. I'm really bad at it. I've only... I'm not very well travelled. Like, Emma's been to way more countries than I have. Like, I, I never go anywhere <laughs> or do anything. 
I just know Parliament and rich politicians. I've never actually been. More treasure. Oh, I can actually open this one. I Maybe I should be saving money. Or maybe I should be saving, not money, keys. Because if this costs five keys, that's probably all of our keys we just used on that. Right, where's the market? Is it right through here? I'm really glad that this glowing trail exists. It's really nice. Oh, this is the old town. Okay. This isn't where Gale was. Gale was definitely in the market. It's also very, very dark. <laughs> like, so dark. Come on. Let's go. Oh, God. A kazoo again. Fuck me. Bowerstone Market. Fantastic. Where does Alex live? And what would seduce him? Oh! You are now loved enough by people to be Albion's dumpling. Uh. <laughs> Right. I'm not sure how I like that. I don't really like, in general, gooey pet names. Dumpling's a bad one. I, you know, slightly off-kilter pet names I'm fine with, but like, dumpling or sweetie or honey or something like that, don't like those. Let's read my slut book. <laughs> Camel talk. Uh, where's my slut book? Items. No, not weapons. Although, you know... We could use it as a weapon, right? What about Conti? <laughs> uh, books. Where's my book? Books and documents. Eric's letters, Brendan's diary. Not the, no, none of these. None of these. None of these. Wedding bells. Read this. Or not. Art of seduction. Read this. New expression, seduce. Fantastic. I always forget about the third kazoo and I get distracted. You have learned the seduce expression. It can be found in the flirty section. Uh, right button. Flirty. Seduce. Ooh! My seductive fucker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I always hate pet names until I fall in love with someone and say silly little things. Yes, same. I, I did. I, I'm going to confidently say that I would have looked at Emma and I with complete disgust when I was a teenager. Because... Uh, Emma and I both realized, not even that long into when we were dating, probably like six months, that we were talking at a bus stop waiting for a bus. And we realized, probably after about three minutes of doing this, we both stopped and went, what the fuck are we doing? Because we had been, like, facing each other, holding hands, and just sort of turning around in circles. As, like, I would have killed me with rocks, <laughs> like, two years before that. <laughs> Really horrible. <laughs> I used to hate babe or baby, then I fell in love. Uh, <laughs> wife thought I absolutely hated her when we first met. I tend to be very aloof in real life and sort of like shy and not really talk to people. So I'm shocked Emma asked me out. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> right, what was this kazoo that got redeemed, by the way? This kazoo is this. Bros, when will I be famous? People say bros, but it is bros, isn't it? Like, everybody I've ever heard talk about this band says bros, but they're brothers, and it's B-R-O-S. Isn't it bros? <laughs> anyway. I know this song, vaguely. I remember this song existing, at least. It's like, when will I be, will I be famous? That one. I don't know if bros were particularly famous or bros. Fucking yes. <laughs> Maybe it's just one of those names. Never really use pet names in any relationship but one, and even that wasn't a cutesy one. My girlfriend and I just use our names. I... This is not... I, I have used Emma's name outside of this stream and referring to her with other people. I think I have called Emma her actual name probably, like, less than 50 times in eight years. <laughs> <laughs> like, I never call Emma by her name, ever. I I exclusively call her, like, excruciatingly disgusting, pot, like, pet names. Like, sickly sweet pet names that occasionally make even me gag. <laughs> I use more pet names on my friends, to be honest. I, I mean, I don't know if it counts, but I remember typing this in a group chat recently that I 
will use Twitch names for everybody forever. Like, I... <laughs> Shut up, Panda. <laughs> uh, like, uh, Loki. I will always call you Loki, no matter what, basically, at this point. Unless specifically told not to, I will always say Loki. Uh, Granarius. I know Granarius' real name. I will not dox Granarius, <laughs> but I... I w think of you in my brain as Granarius. You are in my phone as Granarius. You are, <laughs> you are listed everywhere as Granarius, right? Same sort of, like, Nuku, Nuku, Ghost, just, it's fine, I don't mind. <laughs> I, I think of you as Gran or Granarius, basically. Uh, good thing this is basically my name. It's a good practice, because, like, I, I generally prefer being called Drea. I only say Drea too, exactly. Like, well, Drea is basically just a normal name, right? Not that Granarius isn't, although it sounds a bit like it's from Lord of the Rings. But, um, I, I generally prefer to be called Drea. I don't mind being called my real name, and I've said it plenty of times. But in general, I, I think I prefer being called Drea now. So I just sort of default to that, <laughs> to, like, Twitch stuff. <laughs> Mine's just my name and an extra word. When Where did Dreamer come from? It was literally something I made up when I was about 12 to play, like, Neverwinter Nights as a character. <laughs> I was like, I need a vaguely fantasy-sounding name. And it wasn't spelled like that, but then I just, like, shortened it over and over again to Drea. And I like Drea. And I, I, I looked up the name Drea, and it is apparently a real name. It's like a Scandinavian feminine name. But I'm fine with it. I like it. <laughs> Uh, I've had to pause and think when I need to use my actual name. No one uses it. The only people who regularly call me my name is sometimes Emma, sometimes, and uh, my parents. And aside from that, it's uh, like official forms and school and stuff like that is when I associate what I associate my name with, like getting a fucking bill or like a summons for jewelry. They'll use my name, and I'm like. Ugh. <laughs> I, I never really use it anywhere now. Like, if I meet a new person, I'm more likely to say, hello, my name is Drea, than say, my name is Kane. It's just a mouthful. At work, people call me by my full name, and it's incredibly disjointing. <laughs> Lick your lips like Drea licks their kazoo. That is a disgusting sentence to read. Uh, you got jewelry summoned? I have twice, and once I was too busy with uh, college... Like, I was in the middle of exams or something, and I went, I can't do it. And they went, eh, no problem. And then the other time, the trial got thrown out before I actually got summoned. <laughs> That's about it. Um, it not, not that long ago. Probably about a year ago was the last time I got a jury summons thing. Nobody fucking does them. Like, I, I think I read a stat that was like 20% of people actually accept these things. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck if you just don't do them. You can just say, nah, and then not do them. <laughs> Anyway, let's do brass or whatever this is. I did your series last year for a murder case. Emma did one and enjoyed it, okay? Not for murder, I should say. <laughs> but like the one time I've been in a court, this uh, I love that they have their own shit logo. But when I, I, I briefly, very, very briefly. Oh God, no, Loki. Uh, very briefly, I did uh, journalism. I studied journalism for a year, right? So very, very briefly. And one of the modules was court reporting. And so I did wander into a, just as part of a project, I wandered into the, the like high court or whatever in Cork City. And just, you're allowed to just sit in on cases. If you didn't know, if you're really bored or something, you can just wander in. Nobody, you know, it's fine. It's legal. <laughs> you can just wander in and sit and watch courses on a court. Yeah, cases, I mean. Um, you can watch court proceedings. I sat in, along with a few other classmates, we sat down, took on our notebooks, and we're like, oh, let's just do some basic court reporting, and we can put this in our project or whatever. And then the first words out of the guy's mouth were, and that's when Father X lifted up my trousers, and I went, oh, fuck, this was the wrong one to walk into. Oh, no, we're about to be traumatized. <laughs> And you can't leave. You can't, like, get up and go, oh, we're out, because that's going to drop. They're in the middle of the court now. The recess is over. So, like, that would just be interrupting people during this very emotional moment. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the only time I've ever been in a court, actually, I think. I've never been tried for anything. 
It was hell out of mental breakdown. <laughs> Some of my closest friends uh, used my second name because when I introduced myself to them, I thought, let's try that one for a change. And I didn't realize at the time they'd become such close friends. Now, whenever they meet any other friend, there's moments of confusion. Oh, there's a problem with having multiple names. I imagine this is uh, a problem with trans people because, you know, you switch your names more when you're when you're trans, right? Like people, it's a good, I think it's a thing that should become normalized across everybody. Just randomly changing your name multiple times. Like settle, going like, oh, I like this name. And then a few years later, maybe going, oh, I like maybe this version of this name better or a different name. I think that's cool. I like that. Uh, I only had one before. Now I have three and a surname because I could. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sounds like a horrible Seinfeld episode to the laugh track. It sounds like a sitcom. I wish I could explain the hell without typing an essay. I chose my nickname. I just started introducing myself as Ray because I wanted to. That's how it works in Ireland. I'll say Ireland is very good for self-ID. Like, um, from what I know, changing your name officially through a court is like a tenor, maybe. You don't have to provide a reason or anything and it just goes through. And we have a thing where, because I looked this up actually, because I was like, do I want to change my name to Drea? Eh, doesn't really matter. If you just start using your name, your new name, it just eventually becomes your name after a while. Like if you can, if it ever comes up in court or anything, you can just say, you can point to documents that you've signed your new name on and go, and that's enough proof. Like uh, you don't actually have to go around changing names or anything it's very nice <laughs> also we have no um like gender markers or anything like that on driving licenses or most forms of id i was in shock when i saw an american driver's license for the first time and it has like height weight uh gender stuff like that like sex at birth on it and i was like fuck me why do you need all that <laughs> insane i have my driver's license it literally just has my name uh like my date of birth and a picture <laughs> lucky that everyone in my past is either so horrible or stretched to trauma i would have no reason to talk to them exactly uh sounds so good it costs money here you can just skip all that and go like oh now it is officially my name and you'll get bills and stuff in that but Jeez, it's not really any point. You can just use whatever name you like here. We have very, very, very good self-ID laws in Ireland, uh, which makes it very depressing that the turfs are coming. Ireland could be less good in the next few years because uh, one of our leading political parties is so fucked by scandal and corruption and public, like, hatred that they have started going... Uh, very clearly panicking in interviews going, um, enough about how everyone's homeless. Uh, maybe we should talk about trans people. Are they really all they're cracked up to be? And uh, so far, every newspaper is like, what the fuck? <laughs> but mm, might get bad, we'll see. Uh, sex at birth. No, my parents left me alone. <laughs> Never left me alone with the priest for that long. <laughs> All the right-wingers are relying on this issue, piggybacking off existing discovery. Exactly. It's like, mm, that makes me feel icky. Um, when I applied for health insurance the other day, they asked for my gender and then spent a few awkward seconds trying to think of a way to ask in a sensitive way what my biological sex was and settled on what you were born as. Oh, it's very weird. I've never had to deal with it or anything, but like... I, I, again, I, I remember, I didn't like that joke, fair enough. I, I will say, if you're a mod in this channel, I've said this before, feel free to delete whatever. <laughs> you're basically like, uh, if I'm like the de the god, you're all like demigods. <laughs> Think of it like that. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> Run it like brown shirts. <laughs> Uh, like, why are our bathrooms segregated? It's a vulnerability for them to use. Did you know that segregated bathrooms were not that prevalent before like the victorian era at least in the west like they um they were they were not that common like it was really the victorians who fucked all that it was just unisex bathrooms are better and more convenient and good men who don't know medical science making judgments about women can medically do is belong but exactly it's like <laughs> conservatives are all about like small government and uh like individuality and then fucking control people's bodies directly yeah exactly they're not segregating people's houses it's so silly i'd be fine with unisex i think everybody would just get over right there's plenty of unisex bathrooms around still 
Nobody really gives a fuck. It's it's such a non-issue because it's it's something that's only really come up. <laughs> a free message to delete. It's something that's only really come up um, in the last few years because it's like a rallying point around like, I feel icky. Let's be mean to people. Uh, there's unisex bathrooms at the medical center I work at and no one shits their pants about it. Exactly, because there's bathrooms. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's play. Yeah, it turns out I don't like to request stuff you like. <laughs> That's fair. It seems like more of a punishment. It looks so much like young H.B. Baxter from Scooter. I thought, when I was a kid, that Scooter was just a guy, not a band. This guy. I thought I thought that this was a guy called Scooter. Because <laughs> it's no stupider than H.P. Baxter. Uh, German techno band Scooter. I thought it was just some DJ called Scooter. Certain Matt, search Mass, Matt Goss, the singer now. Matt Goss of Bross. Matt Goss, this guy. Oh, he looks... Has he had work done? Because he looks like a parody of a handsome man. <laughs> Matt Goss. He looks like a parody of a handsome person. <laughs> I'm raving, I'm raving. <laughs> I wanted you to do a nice kazoo to give Dre a break, but every time the thing is on cooldown. <laughs> right, anyway, back to the game, shall we? Go on game, go on game. Hyper, hyper, Scooter, are you ready? My dad would play that every so often. Ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Scooter! Sorry. <laughs> right, seduce boy. Where is the boy that I need to seduce? It's Gail, hello Gail. My, my soon-to-be wife. Oh. Okay. Let's go follow. Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go find an inn. Uh, where's the, is this the inn? You're following, right? You haven't, like, run away? This isn't, like, a cruel joke or anything. Let's go. <laughs> um... Yay! I've read a book on how to sex, so this should be even better. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I, I read a book! I can now do, like, a, a sexy little dance or something for you, if you like. Uh, unprotected sex, obviously. <laughs> I, I have a condom, but I haven't worked out how to open it. <laughs> a little giggle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have gotten better. Fantastic. <laughs> 21! Okay, we got way better. Fuck me! Are we covered in cum? <laughs> we are coated in her! Amazing! Oh, it's because we're a woman character. I was so wondering. The game insists women can't use condoms in lesbian sex. I forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> um, holy shit. She just basically stuck her head in my boobs and said, now that's what a hero should look like. I mean, your boobs are much more impressive. Let's just compare boobs for a while. Sorry. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, you just cut them in half like a sheet. <laughs> um, did you get actually married? We're engaged. I need to... I'll buy a house somewhere and can, we'll, we'll move in and get married, I guess. First of all, Alex. You're Alex, right? Now, Gail, don't watch. We just had mind-blowing sex. I am still, like sopping in your juices so <laughs> don't don't take whatever's about to happen personally but i am about to flirt with this idiot oh i didn't see you there isn't it amazing all these people they look so happy don't they i'm sorry don't mind me. sounds like most My fantasy writers it is true i'm i'm sure you're a really nice person but I'm not really much of a talker these days. Why? The terrible <laughs> words you say wash over me now. I mean, she washed over me in a certain way. <laughs> Convince Alex to marry you. Okay. I would like to flirt with you, I suppose. Um, I need to do this. Flirty. Seduce. 
Hey, Alex. What do you think of these? <laughs> oh, he was really into it. Okay. Hey, Alex. What do you think of this? Oh, and just like crazy. lift the skirt? I don't know. Don't How do you flirt? <laughs> How does one flirt with somebody? That's more sort of an assault. <laughs> Go on. It's the best place for it. Oh, he was so you into it. Really Fuck me, he's gonna, like, to marry me in a second. No! No, I'm not! Gail! Gail! We should really find a house to live in if we're going to get married. Okay, she didn't... She's m you know, okay. You should really do something about the way you look. If only we it had a house, happy. we could get married. Fuck me. Okay, he's dead. Even if he wasn't a murderer, he's fucking getting his throat slit. <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> Is he nagging you? I think he's nagging me. All right, you come along, Alex, because, uh, are you fucking flirting with my fiancé? God, everybody wants to fuck me. Um, I mean, I get it, look at me, <laughs> but, like, still. <laughs> You're a woman. You're new around here, aren't you? All right. We need to make sure Gail can't see us and then flirt with him. Hey, do you want to... Okay, she's going off oh, somewhere. Sweet. Okay, now's the time. Uh, I love you I or whatever. Ends of the world for you. Yeah, cool. Would you marry me? I'm just the luckiest man. Holy in the world. shit, he's easy. I never thought I'd find happiness again. I never thought I'd deserve it. There's something I've never told you. Yeah, you're a fucking incel or I whatever. I almost got married once before. She was a sweet girl, but we were both so young, too young. I got scared and ran away the day of the wedding. Oh. I hurt her so badly. She she took her own life. It's a little pathetic, I guess. <laughs> Never I'm still gonna I could love again. Fuck up your heart or whatever. You. Uh, either break Alice's hair. No, I'm not marrying Alex. He's a fucking weirdo. Are you on XCloud? How have you made it so good? I ha I am playing this through uh, Xbox's cloud gaming thing. I think it's called XCloud. I honestly can't remember uh, because it is apparently quite janky when you try and emulate it although apparently it's getting better like it's main it's mostly fine now if you emulate it but i just decided to stream it which means i can't improve the resolution or anything but you know <laughs> it is what it is everything notch has been removed from is better notch was brought up again recently for some reason I thought Notch was, like, well out of the public eye at this point. I thought we'd all agreed to forget that Notch exists and just sort of accept that Hatsune Miku had developed Minecraft instead. Anyway, uh, give Alex the rejection. Obviously we're going to give Alex the rejection note. Fuck you. Fucker, I hope you never find love again. Just because of that comment. Oh, good, elf ears. Well, I'm keeping these on forever, apparently. Um, Like, even... Even if you weren't a murderer, the fact that you went... Ah, oh, you should change how I look. Maybe you should, you know, maybe put on some more makeup for me, but maybe then you'd be prettier. I I would honestly be willing to castrate you. <laughs> you will live and die in that cab. Thank you. <laughs> Probably Elon Musk Twitter rule, I imagine. Maybe. Um, give Alex rejection note, obviously. Also, we have Gail. Gail's lovely. Gail's lovely and drenches us, so obviously I'm gonna stick with Gail. <laughs> Wouldn't our fingers look happier with rings on them? What? I don't. I don't understand. Oh, this is horrible, actually. <laughs> it was all a trick. No, it can't be true. It can't be true. No. Oh, right. 
get fucked, cunt. Look, I don't feel amazing about it, but he did probably deserve it. I think I will it. have some more pie. I think I will have some more pie. Marry you, get lost, mate. I've got a squirter at home. <laughs> <laughs> Speak. Hello, Gail. Um, I'm really sorry, but you're we, not really all that famous yet. Marriage married. house. Where? What? Oh! No! Gail. Um. Right. When I click A, this could be a bad scene. <laughs> this was accidentally. Uh, a domestic, all right? Accidentally. It's like dropping, I don't know, a grenade or something and then going, oops! Gail! Right. So people are not. Gail! I didn't mean it so much for dumpling. Gail, I didn't mean it. Okay, um. She'll be back. Look at me. What the fuck? I'm not even wearing trousers, you prick. And also, I look hot. Right, let's, uh, can we find a house to buy? I might be able to find a house to buy. Oh, there you are, you came back. Sorry about that. You still up for marriage? Very nice. Okay, yeah, look at me. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, can I... Are you just jiggling yourself at me? Sorry, this game is more sexual than I thought it would be. Can I flirt? Can I seduce you? I don't like that I'm seducing you with a sort of crowd of children around me, but it is what it is. You're a bookshop, I think. Is there any houses around to buy? Like, this looks like it might be a house. The Silk Moon, it's a jeweler, lives in here. Okay, and it's so expensive. She's a huge sparrow simp. Well, you're no longer allowed to voice Rick and Morty either. Is that still happening, Rick and Morty? I wasn't aware that Rick and Morty still existed as a show until the whole scandal thing started happening. And I was like, that's still on? I watched a little bit of Rick and Morty. I even enjoyed Rick and Morty. But at a certain point, I was like, ah, I'm done with this. This is kind of annoying. They make it very slowly. It just, I don't know, it's better than South Park, but it had that kind of edge to it. Uh, Monster Manor. Ooh, a home. Hannah the Furniture Seller lives here. Not vacant. Owners killed. <laughs> Hero opinion. Mine is 500. Oh, that's off the price because people like me. Bonuses, bodybuilder and troll face. Monster Manor. Is there like a vacant home so I don't have to fucking evict somebody? I set people on fire, but I'm not landlord evil yet. <laughs> like, you know. It's the one where I don't have to just, like, make people homeless. There should be, okay. <laughs> dig spot. We'll, we'll just dig up their garden for no reason. Come on. Dig. Thank you. There's Fag's Cabin, which is 5,000 gold. Oh, Fag! I remember that. Where was that? What did I just get? Understanding the Albion psyche. What, British people? Town already ate, sir. Bower Lake, okay. Can I just fast travel somewhere? Quest maps. Jobs, regions. Bower Lake. Bower Lake. Can I travel there? Hmm. It's kind of far away. I'd like somewhere in town, really. Old Town, Building Zone, Zero, Dig Spots, Two. Hmm. Sweet Jesus, Chucky. Oh, I hate Chucky so much. What the... F I do not remember that quote at all. You could have gloves on one hand and some sort of clitoris clips on each finger. <laughs> Sometimes I forget the awfulness of these quotes. I don't remember what that would be. Gloves with clitoris clips. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm sure it made sense in the moment. Uh, Rookridge, Oakfield. Like, I'd like to buy a house here. Hang on. Weapons, miscellaneous shop, appearance shop, region exit. Dog hero. I might just buy something and make somebody homeless. <laughs> Maybe. Towerston Old Town. Maybe in the Old Town. Let's go into the Old Town. That seems more residential. Maybe we don't go straight into the fucking shopping district. See, that one sounds more accurate. See, I'm very dumb. <laughs> Let's go. It didn't. 
<laughs> Again, also go back to the ghost. Man, a couple of people in this town love me. Like, are actually, like, in love with me. Is this what it's like to be harsh? Do people just fall in love with you? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Can I just travel? I can probably just fast travel. Like, regions, Bowerston, Old Town. Yeah, just, just travel here. Uh, Market Road, I suppose? Maybe? Like, do people just pass- you, you pass somebody and they just go, oh, My God. <laughs> what, somebody wants a gift? Are you giving gifts? I just realized I'm running late. I have something to eat yet, too. Okay. I like what I see. And I have something you might like, too. Are you talking about your cock? No, a watered-down XP potion. All right. That's fine. I'm not gonna fuck you, but okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh, whose house is for sale? Does anybody have a house for sale here that wouldn't mind being homeless? What about this? This is... Fuck me, it's 50, 11 grand? That's insane. Most hot people seem to say that everyone doesn't think they're in the same league, so nobody approaches them. It's like I said, I am in what I would call a mixed attractiveness uh, marriage, and I was terrified of asking Emma out, so I just didn't do it. <laughs> I I had made up my mind to ask Emma out via email or text um, when, like, the school year that we were together in ended. And then, like, a couple of months before that, she emailed me to ask me out instead. Because <laughs> I didn't want to actually fucking see the response. Uh, they would be cheaper, but you back the police and let them gentrify it. <laughs> right. Um, I guess that makes sense. Examine property. Nine grand. Tom, the house husband, lives here. The Bennett house. I want a house. Because I want to marry Gail. I want to make it official. The house of goodwill. Oh, that. now we're getting down into it. Now we're getting seven grand two-star house. I've definitely been too shy to flirt with some women and non-binary people. Luckily, I was tipsy when I met my partner and we happened to sit down next to each other at the fair. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> uh, Felling re residence? Oh, uh, also about seven grand. Probably okay. You met organically, what the fuck? I did uh, with, with Emma as well. We went to college together and then just sort of happen to sit next to each other a couple of times and go like, hi, hi. <laughs> That's about it. I could never. <laughs> um, at one point we did, um, we did go to a Christmas party together and everybody, else, neither of us drink, everybody was getting quite drunk at this like school, class, college class Christmas party. Uh, that they had like booked out at like the Margate in Cork City and there was bowling and karaoke and stuff like that and they at, at a certain point we both got a little a, a little overwhelmed I think and we both just went and sat at the side on like a couch booth thing and we ended up just talking for like five hours or something like that while everybody else went off and did karaoke and I think that was probably the like final nail in the coffin before somebody asked each other out <laughs> You're all making me feel terrible. <laughs> we met at a Star Wars convention? That's very nerdy. Sweet, but very nerdy. Right, if I can find a house cheaper than seven grand, we'll buy it. Maybe even just a shack in an alley. Gail will be happy with whatever. As long as I'm around, Gail will be happy, right? <laughs> uh, this is seven grand. Felling residence. Mary the housewife. Five minutes fame asking people. I'm gonna buy this, I think. Mary. Out. And the 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 best thing about this is, is that as she passes me, she'll fall in love with me, and so she won't even hate me. She'll be like, oh, you know what? Okay. <laughs> Can I maybe stay and watch? <laughs> she they love me. S buy and move in, please. Are you sure you want to buy the felling residence? Apparently. Welcome to this region. Oh. Okay, now, 
I would like to marry somebody. You can get the fuck out, kid. I would like to get Gail and no marry bad. her. No so let's go find Gail, basically. <laughs> Bye. I think it's right up here, maybe, is the market district. I can't remember. One thing I do like with Perth is that a couple of the bars are quite chatty, especially when it's the same regulars. Obviously, it can be a bad thing, but I mainly go to ones with a lot of queer people, and it's usually nice when I rarely go out. See, I don't go out. I don't know how you would meet people. I have met the vast majority. I hit somebody and they didn't like me anymore. I don't know, that was a thing. I have met the majority of sort of people I would consider friends or acquaintances through Twitch at this point. <laughs> I'm very bad at it. I don't know how to just start a conversation. I, I genuinely don't know what I'm doing, really. Okay, maybe just follow the sparkle lines. Sparkle lines. Get out of the way. Sparkle lines. There we go. I think this is the way. Fantastic. No, this is outside. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Bring me to the market using the map, please. Friendship is largely just based on proximity. It is, honestly. Like, you can kind of be friends with anyone. Um and just kind of hang out. It is better now. I had very, very few friends in school. Like, up until my 20s, I really had virtually no friends ever, right? Um, in my 20s, I started... The couple of friends I did have then were just exclusively based on proximity, not, like, interests at all. And so it would just be, you know, you just sit there and go, well... What do you want to do? I don't know, nothing. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> you know, it's very boring. Um, but now, I have friends who I can actually, like, speak to, and it's nicer, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Starts playing the sad violin. <laughs> Outside of work, I'm hopeless, and I don't know how to make things go beyond the small talk. I'm the same. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I, I can't even really do small talk. Again, I've said this before, a pharmacy nearby me, and the that I go to and the people there are very friendly and they clearly recognize me from somewhere, probably secondary school. And every time I go there, I am so awkward. Like they'll make like a joke or something like that. And I'll go, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you know, I just not really respond or follow it up or anything. I'm so, so anxious about it. Just look anxious in a group situation and my involvement genes kick in and I become your friend. <laughs> Right, do you want to oh, move in so then? Pleased to see you. Oh, she did a little jump! That's adorable! Um, do you want to marry me then? Social? Cheers. Marry me. Follow me. We should really find a house to live in if we're going to get married. Follow me. Okay. Are you following me now? Are you fo follow me so she's so cute. Follow me so we can get married. Marry me. Fucking hell. Um how do I marry her? Social flirty? Marry me? Marry pick up line just pick her up. Oh I fucking caught somebody in the the shrapnel of my pick up line. You marry me. Uh flirty. Uh, Stop that. She's mine. You seduce. AOE flirting. <laughs> Come on, marry me. I've given you a ring. Marry me. How do I marry someone? <laughs> Since I left high school, I've become the person that would help shy people come out of their shell. Oh, maybe because I was super shy in school. I'm still socially anxious, but it varies. I am, um, I don't know. I don't think I'm that good. I, I am still, I'm, I've gotten so much better, but I am, you know, still slightly terrified of people. <laughs> you need to have her follow you there, maybe, but it's in the house settings. Right. Follow me. Uh, social. Follow me. She won't fucking follow me. I mean, yeah, you too, but can you follow me? Hi, Sparrow. Hi. I could fucking marry you right now if you just got with me. I have a house. Oh, you're following me. Okay. Where are we off to? Come with me. And then come with me. We're going this way. It's right over here, I think. 
I think it's this way. Is this the... Oh, I don't actually know. <laughs> the brilliant light and bad thing. Nope. It, I Maybe if we just follow this line. Ooh. Yeah, just keep following. Don't fucking give up on me. What? What house? I bought you a fucking house, so you better be happy. Bowerston Old Town. Old Town. Okay, follow me for the love of God. Don't, don't just like dip out. Okay, she's still here. Amazing. Now, where was my house? <laughs> it was somewhere around here, right? <laughs> it was this way, maybe? It was one of these? It wasn't this one, but it was nearby, right? This is t the Bennett house. I've seen better, but it might do. It might do. Will it? You'll be fucking happy wherever you are, love. Uh, the House of Goodwill, that's not ours. Is this? This isn't ours either. It's the, facing the wrong way. We'll find it eventually, don't worry. Is this? This is my house. Hello. Well, we should probably keep looking. Fuck you. Use. Set his marital home. We live here now. Yes! Within every lifetime, there are moments of greatness. Even perfection, some solitary, but others shared. On a sunny morning, under a clear sky, the villagers crowded together to witness two people stand and declare their love for each other. Some say they were a strange couple, others that they saw a story of true love. Only time would tell. I mean, look, even if we get other wives or other husbands or whatever, Gail can be, like, the boss of them. She can, like, I don't know, dress in leather and <laughs> shove them around if she wants, right? She's the first. She's, like, top wife. And then the others can all be, like, sub-wives. I meant that as in sub-orders, not subs, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Head of the harem, exactly. <laughs> Congratulations on your marriage. You've received a dowry of cash. Jesus, okay. And a renown boost. Marriage also means you will receive better bonuses from your house. You might also receive gifts if you keep your spouse happy. Ooh. Uh, use the house sign to set your household budget, which will affect how happy your spouse is while you're away. Spoil yourself, love. Um, We're married! We're married! Isn't it great? Oh! Right. Set budget. Um... What's a big budget? I've got a decent amount of money. Let's give you like 40 a day. They need very little to be happy. Let's give you 40 a day. I've read too many Chinese harem comics for this. Is that a thing? <laughs> right, there we go. Enter redecorate mode. You are in home decoration Darling, mode. You've done it. Almost oh, you give me a gift. Oakfield has heard of you. <gasps> now you can go back to the abbot. Yay. Darling, so you've been so nice. I got you this gift. How wonderful. What is it? Average drawers. Ooh. <laughs> Darling. Your drawers are anything but average. Okay, I'll put them somewhere. Yeah. Thank you. Go in. How do I... You can decorate your house to stop it. You can decorate your house to increase its value. Boo. I deserve the boo. How do I put this down then? How do I move shit around? I actually don't know. I got you this year gift. Throws popcorn at screen. Redecorate mode. I thought I was already in that. Maybe I got out of it because of the gift. Hang on. Let me go in here. Oh, the camera. It's struggling. Enter redecorate mode. Enter your house. Okay. Nice-ish. I don't really have like having this like random table here. I'd like to swap that around, please. Do I have to get rid of the fucking food first? Ugh. Where do I want to put this drawer? Maybe this is a bit ratty. I'd like to swap this as well. Okay. Decoration. Broken cupboard. God, it sucks. Um, back. Swap. Most dishes would be embarrassed to be seen. Wow, fuck you. We just moved in. Oh, you can only swap it with the same thing. Oh, so it's just like upgrading stuff. Okay, well, where's a chest of drawers we can swap around? Is this, this is a broken sink? Gee, we live in squalor. I mean, the house is huge, but it does look a bit ratty. 
You a chest of drawers? Swap, broken dresser. That's a dresser, apparently. I don't really know the difference. We have drawers, not a dresser. I'm not a, an interior decorator. I don't know what these things are. <laughs> is this a, this is a dresser, or, or drawers. These are drawers. Oh, we have separate beds, fuck that. Push those together and sellotape them or something. Uh, average drawers, that's nice. Thank you, replace that. Oh, already better. Look at that, fantastic. Yes, it is. Thank you, Gail. Gail, if I just, like, send you lots of money, you can you, like... Any of those quests of yours yet, do you? Am I still covered in cum? Or are these, like, scars? Or tattoos or something? The world Am I still covered in your juices? <laughs> oh, it's from being evil? What? I thought she just, like, squirted it all over us or something. <laughs> Or good, I don't know. Um, right, well, don't swap. Let's exit. Oh, we have to leave the house. Sorry, it's in my own home. I'm allowed. Oh, it's from using magic. It's the energy from Will. Okay. Speak of evil. <laughs> right, leave the house. Done. Then back in. We're out of this. Now, Gail, before I leave to go on quests, do you want to, you know... You have amazing air, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, you've got amazing air. Return to the abbot. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me 50 minutes. I got to say, we're doing pretty well this day. Uh, do you want to come over here? Do you want to, do you want to use the bed or? She's so nice. Do you want to use the bed or? Sleeping heals your wounds. Sleep. No, I don't. I don't want rest right now. Can we? <laughs> you literally just flirted with me. You were like, you're not going right away, are you? Being with you makes me so happy. So happy. Pick up line. Anything? Do you want to follow me? Oh, I can probably just make her follow, right? Or go like, hey, follow me. Follow. Oh, how exciting. Go on. Follow? Sparrow, hi. F follow me? Come on, up here. Come on. Come on, right up here. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. <laughs> follow. There we go. Follow me up here. Do you see... Our large bed. I can't interact with our large bed. I guess we're going to have to squish into this fucking single children's bed. Look, we can just do it up against the bed, I suppose. <laughs> oh, go around the side? Oh, okay. You know what? Just for the novelty. No! Choose how long to rest. We can't rest there? Or we can only rest there? What? I can only rest? Fuck you. Fine, we'll rest for six hours. Sleeping here has increased your fame. Ooh. Flirt first. Okay. <laughs> After sleeping here, people will now assume that you are more evil? What? But we're so cool. Hello, dear. Flirt. Seduce. Go ahead. Show different houses, different bonuses. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I thought she was angry Sometimes there for a I second. What it would be like to turn into a ballerina, all that hair. Oh God, we married a furry. La, 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 la. Oh. Right. <laughs> I think this is where my grandfather met my grandmother. Mm, cool, on, romantic. Show us what you got. Just your type. Keep going. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Hmm. That really makes me go gooey. Ooh. How gooey? Can we fuck it? How, how gooey do you need to be? Right. Go back here. Flirt. Pick up line again. Huh? Well, what do you know? Good. <laughs> you make me feel all warm inside. That well, in a then, bit. Love. Again, seduce maybe. Oh, show me. 
What are you waiting for? There, that sounded. Oh, wonderful sweetheart. Fuck, come on! How much work do you need? Because <laughs> I already need a wet wipe after last time. Oh, a snake! No, wait. It's just a stick. <laughs> oh, she's endearing. Um, flirty. I'm sure this will be ever so sweet. Hey! <laughs> just a fucking fret, bro. Hey! I'm hoping to see you today. Okay, does the jump mean she's ready? Like, do we need to... I don't know what it wants from me. Like, is there a meter to, like, I don't know, check dilation or something? What do we need to do? <laughs> Flirty. Seduce. Oh, yes. Oh, sweetie. You're so good. <laughs> I don't know what it wants from me. <laughs> last night. This frog ran up to me and touched my leg. Horrible, horrible nightmare. Okay. The world is a big place, Sparrow. Be careful. Right. Sparrow, I, hi. You can tell me about your dreams you later, is the thing. <laughs> the Come on, look look at how hot I am. Get hotter every day, yes, darling. exactly. Right, I don't know if we're going to be able to have sex with her right now. <laughs> Maybe she's just not in the mood. Right, you stay oh, here. That's wonderful, darling. Uh, social. That's dismiss. I married you. Show us. Show us. Show, show you what? I don't think oh, I can take them out. <laughs> I don't think I, I'm allowed. What's it all about? Right, one more time. One more seduction. It's things like that that remind me how lucky I am. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> let's go hand in the ghost quest, shall we? Do you have the come hither look? I thought that was the seduce look, but maybe not. Maybe that's maybe that's getting them to love you in the first place, and then you need specific looks afterwards. But did we make the dog sleep outside? Nexus mods probably has something for this. That's another problem with playing on cloud streaming, is that you can't mod them, right? There's a book called Come Hither, Dear. Oh, Jesus Christ. I will look out for that. I wish it did, Vemsy. <laughs> I imagine there's a lot of mo sex mods for for Fable 1, at least, right? Gets you the come back to my place expression. <laughs> right, let's go! Where was Ghost? No, don't fucking... Jesus Christ, I'm so bad at this. So, quests, maps, quests. Till death do us part. Travel me. Yes. Would you like to travel to the Bowerston Road? Yes, please. Good stuff. Now, anyone here? Probably not. We killed everybody fairly recently. They're not going to respawn right now, have they? A sale is about to end. I don't care. <laughs> oh, fuck off. They're back. Pricks. Fuck you. I can, I'm can. i fast. I'm a speedy boy. I can outrun you. Now, there's a few here from what I remember, right? Oh, there's so many. Oh. <laughs> There's like 10 minutes, 10 mods for Fable and they're all nothing. Really? Maybe it's quite hard to mod. Because some games you'd expect a lot of mods for them and then it just turns out that they're really difficult to mod. So there's none. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love how powerful this seems to be now. Just keep them at bay, please. They can't even get close to me. Look at this. It's insane. <laughs> Where's the other fucker? Up there, and he's dead now. Incredible. Right, away we go. I don't know, I've never been massively into modding games. The only games I've really spent a lot of time modding are the Elder Scrolls games. And even then, I rarely do anything too expensive. I mainly just do, like, little graphics updates or add more perks and stuff like that. I've never gone... The like fucking full on spending three full days I'm modding so things. Sorry for what I did to you. I've never forgiven myself. You know? Did you kill yourself, you never, little creep? I never forgot you. I loved you so much. Fuck me! They just killed themselves at the drop of a fucking hat. Oh no, I got a cold. Better jump off a cliff. Oh. Grow up.
You? What are you doing here? You broke my heart. It's like Romeo and Juliet. At least they had the good grace to be 14. <laughs> oh yeah, your fucking bitch ghost sent me to break your heart. Your idea, wasn't it? You just wanted revenge. Ooh. I don't believe this. Ooh. I was upset. It's not easy being dead, you know. I mean, you'll see for yourself. I never want to see you again. Either of you. Oh. Fair. You both deserve each other. You're both horrible. Wait, Alex, wait. Ha ha ha. He had to path around the dog. <laughs> well, that worked out fantastically for you, didn't it? <laughs> Did you enjoy breaking hearts, destroying lives? If so, well done. You're a nasty piece of work. <laughs> we did what she asked, and he was a prick. I'm not, I'm fine with both of these people being unhappy. How else could we have solved that? I mean, the other option was just marrying the fucker, and that wasn't going to happen. Like, weird incel. I mean, look at how muscly I am. He doesn't deserve this. <laughs> Anyway, let's go. Let's go back to the abbot now, shall we? Quest maps. Quests? Ritual? Is it the ritual, I think? Do you want to set the ritual? Yes. And travel. Fantastic. It's surprising maybe it's too old for people to care enough. There's probably educational software worth nude mods out after 224 hours. Maeve is peeking teaches typing where she gets her beacons out. Aww. I've never played Mavis Beacon teaches typing, which is why I am such a terrible typist. I know there's also, um, typing of the dead? Is that what it's called? Where you type and kill zombies? There's a lot of typing games, and I never play any of them because I'm embarrassed by my typing speed. I I can't do touch typing, even though they tried to teach me in school. I just never learned it. I had already kind of gotten into enough bad habits by the time they tried to teach us typing that I was like, ah, it's never, it's never getting out of my brain. Don't even bother. <laughs> right, Abbott. Hello. Cutscene. It's you. I prayed for your return. Thank you. I heard what you did in Rookridge. I think you could be of great use to. What us. did they hear? Gale's screams. <laughs> That's Come, Oakvale. <laughs> no, that's Bowerston. Different town. Um, okay. What did we do in Rookridge? We posed for a sexy statue and then made Gale, like, see Christ. Now, <laughs> I don't know what else we've done. Is done with holy water from the well did we kill a bandit, light. maybe? But the spring is located in a nearby cave, which is said to be quite dangerous. Mm -hmm. Our sacred text says two monks must enter this cave. The strongest and a second of the abbot's I'm children. probably the strongest, look at me. Obviously this concerns my me. My back muscles Especially are ridiculously well defined. Here is my own child. So instead of a second monk, I have chosen to send a protector for the first. Seems like a loophole. You, if you're interested. The cave is just at the end of this road. Yeah, right. Sure, you why not? You passed it on your way here. Our strongest month will be waiting. I'll do that. Fine. I'll give you a loophole. <laughs> Must gather the others and Our prepare the blessing. Us, even if they do not yet realize it. What? Or are we gathering heroes to like reform the heroes guild or something? I wasn't quite clear. <laughs> is is it you? Are you who I'm meant to be meeting? Are you the strongest? Or are you just some pleb? All right, bye. We passed the cave on the way here, did we? To fight the guy who killed your sister. Fair enough. <laughs> Lucian. He was cool. I liked his voice. Very good voice acting. And we, now we need some sort of suicide squad then. Oh, beetles again. Oh yeah, I got a cool axe that I have not used yet. <laughs> good stuff. Do I hear singing? Yes, I hear some slightly off-key singing. Hello. Down by the reef. You swim the sirens of Oak Vale out to the seas. Okay, I take back about me being the strongest. You look very strong. 
You look fucking cool as well, actually. <laughs> right, let's go talk. Hello. Ah, I knew my lovely singing voice would bring the crowds. Mummy, sorry, mummy, sorry. <laughs> Holy shit, you look so cool. So you're my escort, <laughs> Can you marry her? <laughs> Yeah, she could she could definitely pick us up and throw us. Oh, you're a strong, handsome fellow, aren't you? And what about me? I feel better having you with me in that cave. Yes, I will. He has no fucking idea what you're saying. I'm Sister Hannah. Mm-hmm. Some people call me Hammer when they think they're being clever. They're not. That's kind of fun. Okay, I but won't I call you Hammer then. <laughs> make a solemn vow never to bash anyone's face in. Did my father mention You don't that? really seem the monk yeah. type, I'll be honest. Whatever fighting Unless it's a D&D &D monk. It's all yours. We require a hero, not a pacifist monk. We'll need her to find a reason to fight. I don't mind telling you, I'm a bit envious. You get all the excitement and I get to carry this bloody thing like some sort of mule. I mean, look at it. It's enormous. Maybe the new best character. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How much water does a bloody acorn need? After you. Fair enough. Right. Now I am still dripping as well. Oh, you're going somewhere. What? Where's the where's the cave? Oh, it's off this way. I'm dumb. I thought you'd be back. Let's go. It's going okay. We're making a little bit of progress. After wandering around lost for probably an hour. <laughs> Escort Hannah to the central chamber. My pleasure. Let's go. It's amazing when you think about it. What? No one else a cave? Been in here for maybe a hundred years. The gold sparkly path light should well, be an indicator. And yet I still anyway. get lost. <laughs> I guess an adventurer or two could have come in, but if they got out alive, I didn't hear about it. Yeah, but now you're anyway. with me, toots. Hey, don't you wander off now, Does anybody unironically said the word toots since 1940? <laughs> What is the dog running off? Who who was she just talking to? Stay with us where it's safe. I am still tripping as well. First thing my partner heard waking up from a nap. <laughs> well, we are dripping with magical energy. We're oozing it from our pores. Souls of the dead who never left this world. It's actually rather sad, isn't it? I suppose. Eh, not really. I think it's fine. You are a quiet one. What, do you want me to talk? Watch your step, doggy. Looks a bit steep here. Do you reckon we'll run into anything nasty in here? We are two I mean, dark fucking hot, beefy house. women. We can take on whatever is coming in here. <laughs> you know, I've heard of monks in the north who believe that to try I love how much she cares about the dog. <laughs> understand it first. Uh-huh. So instead of praying, they train to fight all day. They think that's the path to inner peace. Sometimes I think, what if the bloke who founded the Temple of Light had believed that? I mean, what do you do all day? You are fucking huge. Of my dad. Look at those arms. You must right be now. weight training or something. Exactly the same person. Just change where I was brought up and I get totally different beliefs. And if that's true... She's one of those people who doesn't really believe in small talk, isn't she? Yeah, even though I know that. Three minutes after meeting and she's talking about philosophy. <laughs> she's quite insightful for a monk. But this Burn! Of will not do. It Lol, not Reddit of peace. army. <laughs> it seems a bit stupid to you. I mean, it seems a bit stupid to me. Huge beefcake, but sounds sweet. Like Julia Sahalwa. I don't know who that is. So Sawala? <laughs> okay. Are we about to fight? Are you about to, like, get involved in a big old scrap? It kind of looks like that kind of room. Right. This should be the central chamber. Well, that was easy. Wow. I've never seen anything like this, ever. Now, according to my father, we need to go through these three doors in order to collect the water. Putting weight it's a dungeon. Pressure plates will open the doors. This one's the first. Fair enough. Are you just going to put it down? 
I don't think you need to... You don't need to just stand oh, there. The plates require more and more weight as we go. Luckily, I've got something unbelievably heavy right here. Death ass. Sorry. Sorry. Up. I'll... Just, nope. Strike that one from the record. The fountain that's in the room up ahead. Or at least it should be in the room up ahead. Um, okay, cool. This cave really is quite dangerous. Is it? Deep in here as well. Nothing dangerous has happened so far. It's just like a cool really cave. Quite dangerous. Not that I've been in many caves. It's quite pretty. It's just like a nice Not cave. That I've been in many caves. Okay, you're just repeating now. Though, What's that? All sorts of interesting things. Treasure in that. That almost sounded like an insult at first. But you've been in some caves though, haven't you? Look at you. In the dark, at the bottom. Bodies, maybe. Bones. Did my dog just piss everywhere? You've taken a bad step. <laughs> Goblin caves. <laughs> caves wink. <laughs> oh, is that her, like, hinting? Like, you look like the type. You've got short hair. You look like the type who's been in a few caves. If you know what I mean. <laughs> You've got an eye patch. <laughs> you know, sometimes you'd have to hint about it. You don't know if they're, like, cool with that yet. <laughs> I like how Richard Herring had a bit on one of his shows where he pretended to have a shrine to Julia Sawalha, then years later actually dated her. And his parents mentioned the bit on the show and had a video of it and showed it to her. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It will take both of us to get the water flowing. That's another hint, obviously. I stand here so I can catch it. And you need to stand on that one. Right, there it goes. Oh yeah. I can feel this thing getting even heavier. There's something ra somebody has discovered. S I don't know what kink this is, but somebody has had some sort of awakening in this scene. Just the way the voice acting is happening. She's kneeling down. Something has awoken in somebody. That's nice, that is. See? <laughs> so far, this isn't too bad. A couple of Oh, that's bits, nice, that is. That's it. I really hope they find someone else to do this next time. Mind you, I'll be an old lady by then, so I'm probably off the hook. You know, this is probably is that going someone to be you? the highlight <laughs> of my life. The day I carried a jug through a cave. Hardly epic poem stuff, is it? Uh, there's some very boring Did epic poems. Did I? No, probably just my imagination. Gobbles? Don't talk much, do you? No, I have like a Gordon Freeman thing going on. Right, I reckon Someone. That's all get from this one. <laughs> okay. Shut it off, I'm dry. Let me just collect this key first before we go. <laughs> Lovely. And I'll follow you, please. <laughs> Come back the way we came. Oh, you're very slow now. Oh my fucking god, dog. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Reminds me when I tried to. When I first brought Emma down to my hometown to, like, you know, have a date or whatever when we were newly dating, my dog uh, was no longer with us, but my dog got so angry when we tried to hold hands or kiss that she would bark and, like, splash things because we were on the beach and she would walk between us and, like, force our legs further apart so we couldn't hold hands. She's real angry about it. <laughs> the Hollow Man. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Uh. Right, now I've got big old fireballs. So this should honestly be fine. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> they What? Are like traps fighting? Oh Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. Okay, never mind. Right, this is how this is gonna work. 
really impressive. Cool. Okay, let's just keep going. I'm gonna have to keep fucking dragging you up, right? Watch out for Puffer. My dog would try and hump me by partner if we did that stuff. <laughs> right, the dog is immune to fire, luckily. <laughs> right, are they maybe trying to get to her? We are stunning them long enough that they're not really able to, though, which is nice. There we go. Now keep running. Keep running. I might upgrade my skill as well, because the bow seems fantastic. And I want a gun. I want to be able to shoot fireballs and fire a gun. I think that's the way my character would be good. <laughs> Come on. Pick up the pace, love. <laughs> it's just a massive amount of water. It can't be that heavy. <laughs> Right, lovely. I know, I think it's just a thing that dogs get really jealous of other people and really, really protective of their owners. In a way that cats obviously don't. <laughs> cats really love their owners too. That's kind of a myth that they don't, but they don't, like, fucking fight people. <laughs> uh huh. I don't think so, because it gave me that cutscene. That or you're a very fast learner. I don't see any wisps now. And no hollow men followed us. Guess we're safe in here. Shouldn't be that heavy with those huge, bulging, throbbing muscles you've got here. <laughs> Alright, second door, second play. It is kind of a, a trope in media that I've never really noticed before, is huge, muscle-bound woman who is, like, kind of a dorkable. Right? Like, uh, this person, Brienne of Tarth. There's a couple characters in Adventure Time that are like that. It is a trope, isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad I have you along with me. Let's go. What if you weren't here? How in the world would two defenseless monks get through this place alive? They weren't that bad. Make any sense. They were basically made of paper and flesh. Be free of this stupid old, bag. old flesh. Right, do you need to stand on that one? Right, here's the next one. I'll stand by the fountain to catch the water, same as before. Oh, there is no way this wasn't a kink of somebody involved in this. Ah, oh, brilliant. Just have to wait until this thing stops running. I mean, look at it. You'd think they would have made this jug with a flat bottom in case you want to have a rest. But as it is, it would just tip over, and then where would we be? Right, so something's gonna... Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> something's gonna fight. Okay. I can just fucking fire them off, right? I can just fire these until they're dead. Like, I don't think I'll ever have to leave this. I think this is gonna go all right. I'm still pouring, right? I'm walking ever further closer to this thing. No, come on. Get back on. There we go. Need to make sure my wife is moist. <laughs> Just keep. Oh, fuck me. They're going for her. That's bad. Shoot him. Shoot the fucker. Shoot him. Oh, fuck. Shoot him! Okay, get down here. Get down. Get down. Get down. Run. Run. Get. Okay, he's dead. He's dead, I think. Okay, it's probably fine. <laughs> you okay? You can just strangle them to death, probably. Or do a John Wick and, like, crush their head between your thighs. How many more are gonna happen? I'm assuming one more round. Easy enough. Easy stuff. 75, 76. One more round, probably? Yeah. Oh, 
You think if they were really hollow, they'd make a different noise when you shot them? Oh, I reckon he's dead. As long as they don't get around that corner, that's fine. Yay, we did it! Alright, full up. More of those gargoyles. Rosie earlier said that the gargoyles are for something. So we're nearly finished. That's often the point where the ground falls out from under your feet. Be cautious. Okay, yeah, I know how games work. Madam Hooch, whatever your fucking name is. I don't remember the actual actress name. <laughs> but she was in Harold Potter. And that what sitcom. World was that? And probably other famous things. Whatever that was. Just less talking, more... Uh, like wandering over with the water. Where on earth? Hey, come back! Who knows what's on the other side? Oh fuck! Am I gonna have to scrunch under right? there? Okay, I'm getting worried now. Why is it just letting me focus on this shot? <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> it just gave me the prompt and it just shows us. Oh, there's the dog. Okay. A skull? What you got Thanks. There? Oh, it's just a head. Oh, that is disgusting. Thanks. What do you want me to do with this? Oh, no, but you're a good dog for attacking him. Who's a good boy? Who tears their heads off hollow men? <laughs> like what? Is it you? Oh, Is for it fuck's sake! Don't humor him. Quite a companion you've got. Remind me not to let him lick me again. Oh, I find that weird in general, to be honest. Shall we? Like I, I have known people who let their dogs lick their like mouths, and it is oh, oh, that makes me feel ill. Like the guinea pigs will occasionally lick my fingertips, but even that, oof. <laughs> Lol, grand die and got a rush. No, Mikey. <laughs> I hope everything's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> and if it isn't, uh, my WhatsApp's open. Right, this is probably the last room. I mean, look, if you're just going to circle around me, I'm going to keep doing this. That let their dogs lick there, and then I was holding my breath to see where it ended. <laughs> Oh my god, there's more of them. Okay. I mean, as long as I can just keep doing this, there's no reason not to, right? Until the rest of our arsenal is better than this. Why would I ever not do this? Okay, we might need to actually walk her through this a bit. Rather than just standing here. No, oh, fuck her. Like, are we good? How many fucking more? Jesus Christ! God, it looks so fucking cool. Jesus Christ! Is it literally just keep going, gonna keep happening? Walk forward! What are you doing? Get to the other side, maybe! Okay, Headless Hollow Man. That's the dog boy. I mean, it's not gonna be any harder just because he has no head. Chill out. Okay, never mind. It's much harder. Run. <laughs> Run! Right, let me, uh... Uh, charge up this, maybe? Hang on. There we fucking go. We can charge it up. Hello, Weedabix. Welcome. Our giant, giant wife is probably going to be really impressed by this. How many fucking of these things does he need? My god. Come on, at least he's not going for her. I imagine they could break this thing very easily if they wanted to. 
that a full charge? Even there we fucking go. You killed a lot of them. Yeah, it was slightly tedious. <laughs> I was really worried for a moment there. Well, for several moments. Again, I'm pretty I've... sure if you actually put Thank down you. that jug, you were I know it would spill, but I think you oh, could no, snap then. their neck in about four seconds. Like, quicker than I could kill them. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting a text, by the way. This could be something important. Let me check. Because <laughs> nobody ever texts me. Uh, if I go this is here... This is the final room. Should be nearly done now. I know I said that before, but hopefully this time it's true. I think that's the last play over there. Okay, never mind. It's nothing important. <laughs> Stand on the switch in the final room. Oh, we're going to be fucking filling more juice in her pot. And this is much more inconvenient to shoot them. So I'm not really... Actually, you know what? Hang on. I will level up first. Scene paused. Can I... That with it, can I level? I can't level up right now. Ah, oh, fucker! Can't I? Give rise to new life Fuck! Once more. As new life rises, so shall we. Wait, this is voiced by Julia Sahalwa, apparently, or Sawala. I don't know how to pronounce this name, and I don't know who it is. What's happening? Somebody coming up through here? An evil boy? Sister Hannah. Sister Hannah. Yeah. Brother Robin? What is How'd it? you get in? It's your father. One of Lucian's men. He's holding him hostage at the temple. He's got a gun. How the fuck did you get in here? There was a back door? I have to save my father. Yeah, all right. Yes, she has a fucking axe! To get to the temple. That's what I fucking want. One of Lucian's agents has come to the temple. Go after her. Yeah, okay. Fucking axe-wielding giant woman. That's what we want. Right, after this quest, I'll probably save. <laughs> uh, where is she? Where'd she go? Oh, way back. Jesus. I'll get that treasure later. Hang on. Are you gonna come help, or are you just... You're, you're pacifists, I guess. They mentioned that. Let me also heal a little bit. Maybe... Give me an apple pie. There we go. And then... Let me get my abilities up. I'm gonna say... Skill. I can get accuracy or speed up, I think. Hmm... That's more damage. That's more speed. Give me more da- oh, I do not. Uh, quite enough, goddammit. Will? I think I'm fine with that for now. Strength? I think I'm okay with that as well. I think I want to save up for that, like, next level of skill. Right, but- Oh, I'm fat now. Thanks. Father, cool. Are you okay? He's one of Lucian's men. You're coming with me. Or what? He dies. Who the fuck I is talking? Jesus Christ! Okay, well, probably not great what's happening. <laughs> Somebody's got a gun, and I am no longer allowed to run as fast as I normally am. Which seems rude. Don't make me kill you too. Don't make me kill you too. Yes! Yes, beat the shit out of him with a big hammer. No! My giant wife! Oh no, she's just sad. She's not hurt. Never mind. Father, I could have stopped him. I can I can deal with sad. You idiot! You stupid fool! I could have stopped him if I. The acting's quite good in this. <laughs> Do you want to come live with me and Gail? Her squish to I'm your sorry, muscle, Father. me somewhere in between. Not that I broke my vow. I'm sorry I didn't break it sooner. I never did fit in at this place. We Is it saying I can out. laugh? And Is that I'm laugh or cry? Vow. I actually can't tell. Die for what he did to you. I won't break this one. Sister Hannah, the blessing. Is he trying to do Irish? Sister Hannah. You do it. 
As new life rises, so shall we. As the seed returns to the earth, so do we all. I don't think I should laugh. Okay, hello. Do you want do you want to talk? Is that it then? My father's gone. The golden oak is flourishing again. So now life just goes on as before, does it? The other monks may oh, believe that. Oh, it's uh, teacher mummy. Where did you come from? Who are you? Someone she is fucking huge. <laughs> Where he is, what his plans are. She was in the BBC Pride and Prejudice advantage. as well. Oh! If you listen. I want to know everything. Then come with me, Sister Hannah. Call me Hammer. Fuck yes! <laughs> Don't leave me behind! Cool! The Temple of Light has lost its leader, but you've found a follower. Hammer, the hero of strength. Fuck yes! <laughs> Oh, she was in Chicken Run. She was in Chicken Run. Okay. Uh, one second. Gold round points. Oh, a thousand. That's fucking amazing. We're so famous now. Sounds like Judy Dench. I said exactly the same thing. I said, is this being narrated by Judy Dench? You've done well, hero. Can't Hammer just follow me around for a while? Three heroes, and we are one step closer to defeating Lucian's plans. It will take some time for Hammer to overcome her grief. Ah, she'll get over it. And longer to explain her role in Lucian's downfall. Perhaps this would be a good time to upgrade your equipment. I believe there is a sale in Bowerstone. It may well be worth a visit. Fair enough, we'll do that. When you are ready. Okay, so this is like the it's an open world game bit, right? <laughs> it's like, here, um, have some free reign. For a, for a little bit. Go upgrade your armor, go do some side quests, then go back to the guild when you're ready. Fantastic. So we will do that. Possibly tomorrow? I'm not sure. Emma might be busy tomorrow. She might not, but she might be busy tomorrow. So if she's not, we will play a game together. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what we'll play. She'll decide. But we'll play some sort of game together. If not... I will play this more because I'm really, really genuinely enjoying this. I think this is a fantastic game. So thank you for joining me. Let me go to full camera. Let me raid somebody and then I'll save and exit this. <laughs> thank you for joining. I'll see everybody tomorrow if they're there. Who's live that I can raid? Um, thank you for joining. Oh I'll God, see everybody don't tomorrow fucking, if they're there. Don't play that. I can't believe we have a game we like in common. I like video games. I like a wide range of video games. It's it's really just, uh, yes, it's it's not Judy Dench, but it's that flying teacher from Harry Potter and that sitcom, My Family. Um, I like everything that's not. <laughs> Limmy's face is burnt and online then. You know what, go watch Limmy then, fuck it. Slash raid. Limmy. <laughs> there we go. Um... I like everything but MOBAs and RTSs and tactics games, really. I'm not good at those. I don't like anything that involves strategy or anything like that. I can't raid Limmy. Limmy doesn't accept raids, apparently. Oh, okay. You know what? I have barely any viewers. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Just gonna go. Um, thank you for watching. I will be live again tomorrow, either with Emma or with myself. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>